na Yesu anatupatia formula ya wale watu Mungu hubariki Bwana asifiwe who are the breast of the lord Bwana asifiwe hiyo ndio title ambayo nimepatia message who are the breast of the lord Bwana asifiwe si tukitaka kubarikiwa Bwana asifiwe uh, baraka mzuri ni ile inaele inaele inaendelea inaenda sawa na neno la Bwana uh, nafikiri uko hapo Matthew chapter 5 we are reading from verse 1 Biblia inasema and seeing the multitudes he went up to the mountain and when he was when he was set his disciples came to him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in the spirit for this for theirs is the kingdom of god blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be fulfilled blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sick for theirs is the kingdom of god blessed are you when men shall reveal you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they for so they persecuted the prophets which were before you father in jesus name thank you because of your living word we pray in jesus name that we shall get the light interpretation of this word and our life shall be totally changed holy spirit of god you are the one who teaches us the word of god teach us today in the name of jesus and let our lives be totally changed for the glory of god in jesus name we pray amen amen neno la bwana linasema kubarikiwa ni wale maskini bwana sifiwe haleluya fast 3 inasema blessed are the poor in the spirit for theirs is the kingdom of god bwana sifiwe kubarikiwa ni wale maskini kwa roho zao bwana sifiwe sikumaanisha roho yako isikuwe na kitu Bwana asifiwe. Lakini inamaanisha kubarikiwa ni wale kwa maisha yao wamepatia Mungu his space. Wale kwa maisha yao wametabua there is nothing I can do by myself. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kama mtu wako na pesa simejaa kwa bank. Hata kama mtu wako na connections hata kama mtu amejilipia ma insurance inaweza lipa hasara zake zote lakini kado na hayo mambo yote huyu mtu anajua i can do nothing without god bwana sifiwe kwa hivyo mpendwa hii ndio baraka mtu abaye hata kama amepewa huu ulimwengu wote bado kwa moyo wake anajua Hakuna kitu ninaweza kufanya bila Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Another thing ni kuwa unajua ukichukua mtu maskini ni kusema huyu mtu kuna mambo hawezi jifanyia. 
Kuna mtu maskini kiazi hawezi jirisha chakula. Kuna mtu maskini ya kuwa hawezi weka aruf on top of him. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo umaskini is a need. Ni mtu anasema unless nisaidiwe kuna mambo sitaweza. Bwana asifiwe. Naacha nikwambie even the most rich people hawawezi jiokoa. Mungu tu ndio anaweza okoa mtu. Bwana asifiwe. Hata mtu akuwa yako na kila kitu hawezi lipa dhabi zake ziondolewe. Bwana asifiwe. Hata mtu kama ako na uwezo na mna gani hawezi lipa ni waweze kupumua. Si tuliona wakati wa COVID. Bwana asifiwe. Hata wale watu walikuwa na pesa tunaambiwa mitugi ya oxygen ni michache. Na bado hata hao wamewekwa kwa oxygen, they still some of them died. Why? There is a great gap that nothing can fill except God. That is to mean every man should be poor in the spirit, needing God, needing God to do what? To deliver him. Needing God to save him. Needing God to keep him alive. Needing God. Bona sifiwe. Sai Unaona mtu wabaya yako married. Jamii ya mtu hawezi simamishwa na pesa. Unajua wakati mtu wako na shida, tuseme mtu hana pesa, anafikiriaga mashida ile iko kwa doa inakuja sababu hana pesa. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini wacha nikwambie hata wale matajiri they are not able to maintain their marriage. Their marriage can only be maintained by God. Bwana asifiwe. So, Mungu aliweka mahali lazima mwanadamu amuhitaji. Na wale wamekosa this revelation ya kuwa mwanadamu anahitaji ya superior being amsaidie. Ndio naonaga mtu ni tajiri lakini anaenda kwa wagaga kutafuta usaidizi. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini Biblia inasema blessed are the poor in the spirit for the for the kingdom of god is theirs watu wa muhitaji mungu hawawezi igia kwa kingdom yake bana sifiwe what qualifies us to have the kingdom of god is the necessity we have for god bana sifiwe how much do you require god how much have you do you depend on god Bwana asifiwe. Kitu kimoja about a kingdom. Unajua hii yetu ya Kenya haikuagi kingdom. Bwana asifiwe. Hii yetu ni presidency. Na ndio ulikuwa unasikia mpaka president Kibaki wakati watu wote wanasema serikali saidia, serikali saidia. Anasema nyinyi anahitana majina ingine hapo. Sababu serikali si ya kusaidia kila kitu. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini one thing about a kingdom is dependency. Kila mtu ako kwa kingdom ana depend na mfalme. Kura na kunywa ni mfalme. Bwana asifiwe. Chochote anafanya hata the, the king owns everything. Hata ukifanya kazi mshahara ni wa mfalme. Ukirima hiyo chakula mafuno ni ya mfalme. Kwa nini mfalme anakuwa ana mfalme because of dependency. Lakini kuna watu wakipata pesa kidogo wanaachana na Mungu. Naye Mungu anasema you don't qualify for my kingdom. Mimi najua Mungu atatubariki mahali hapa. Tutakuwa na watu wako na makampuni makubwa. Tutakuwa na masiio mahali hapa. Lakini nakuambia mapema this king that we serve ana kuhitaji bado udipendi na yeye bwana asifiwe don't only depend with god when you have nothing but when god starts to bless you unasema mimi sishidagi nikisubua mungu bwana asifiwe haleluya tafadhali we are here to depend on him if we want to remain in his kingdom 
then he must remain a king a king provides everything watu wale wako pale they are dependable on the king bwana sifiwe siku moja mfalme ambaye anaitwa Saul alikuwa na mapepo akaabua yule mtu tu anaweza msaidia ni Daudi akuje acheze kinanda na akicheza kinanda mapepo inatoka sasa mfalme alisema Edeni huyo mtoto Edeni mwambie baba yake anahitajika na mfalme lakini saa hii Ruto akikuhitaji atakwenda akuulize mama Caleb utataka kazi state house it's not a must but a king sababu kila mtu ana bilongo kwa mfalme anasema mama Caleb aletwe hapa utakuwa ukifanya hii kazi hakuna hakuna reasoning because the kings owns everything bwana sifiwe and god want you to depend on him bwana sifiwe na dio biblia inasema whoever shall call on his name shall be saved because you are calling because you are depending on him my sister my brother usikufe moyo continue depending on this king huyu ni mfalme ambaye ni faithful in the name of jesus if you want to have the kingdom of god then you must run to depend on god kuondolewa dhambi zako si kwa matendo yako depending on god kuinuliwa kwako si sababu ya bidii yako depending on god daudi akasema naangalia milimani usaidizi wangu utatoka wapi na daudi alikuwa ni mfalme anasema usaidizi wangu unatoka kwa Mungu yeye mwenye kuumba bingu na inchi bana sifiwe the more you depend on god the more the kingdom of god is in you hallelujah the less you depend on god the less you are in the kingdom of god in a kingdom everybody depends on the king bana sifiwe hiyo fasi ingine inasema namna gani Blessed fast four Blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted Wakati mtu ameelewa ya kuwa ataukiwa na pesa ukiwa na mali ukiwa na kila kitu huwezi jiokoa huwezi jitakaza ukiangalia the need of God in your life Hiyo kuangalia the need of God in your life ina reflectiki maofu umemfanyia bwana bwana sifiwe ushawahi kuambiwa mtu fulani ndiye atakusaidia na pengine ulikuwa umemkosea unaanza kuona ile makosa ulifanya kitabo <laughs> bwana sifiwe ulikosea mtu kitabo alafu imefika mahali umeambiwa fulani tu ndiye anaweza kukusaidia si unakumbukaga vile ulimfanya fresh inakuwa kama fresh vile ulimkosea bwana sifiwe nasi when we know how much we depend on god in a reflect kwetu inatuonyesha how much we have sinned against god na inatuleta to the point of mourning sababu tulikosea mungu bwana asifiwe na hiyo mourning inatuleta to the repentance to the reconciliation being reconciliated back to god bana sifiwe kwa hivyo wakati mtu ameelewa the need of god in his life kile kitu kinakujaga next ni morning sababu ya dhabi zake kuna wakati mtu anaitwa ishaia alifunguliwa juu macho yake na alipoona biguni alianza morning akasema oye ya mimi abaye ni wa midomo michafu bana sifiwe kwa hivyo wapendwa wakati unaona how much you depend on god inakuletaka to the point of dealing with anything abayo ulikosea mungu nayo bana sifiwe unajua kwa nini kanisani hakuna repentance sana siku hizi it is because people are not depending 100% on god watu wanatumia akili zao 
watu wanatumia connection zao and because uh, wanaona kama ni connection zao zinasaidia kutubu kuliodoka kubadilisha maisha ya watu kuliodoka but wacha nikwambie when you know god is your only alternative itakuletea husuni ambayo itakufanya you reconcile back with him na dio biblia inasema hapa in verse 4 blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted when you see he dio chia nilikosea bwana Biblia inasema John tusikizane hata kama dhabi zenu ni nyekundu kama nini itaoshwa na ikuwe nyeupe Bwana asifiwe when you see how much umemkosea Bwana Biblia inatuonyesha all the old testament watu walikuwa nakosea Mungu na wakati mambo imeenda vibaya wakitubu wakirudi kwa Mungu hakuna siku hata moja tuliona Mungu akiwatupilia Mungu aliona that morning ya kuona I'm poor spiritually I need God I'm poor spiritually I need God na sababu ya hiyo ikaleta morning ya kuconcile watu kwa Mungu na it is guaranteed when you mourn because you have messed up your life God says you shall be comforted Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Verse 5 inasema, Blessed are the meek, they shall inherit the kingdom of God. Wakati mtu ameona that need that you have for God, that poverty you have spiritually. Na wakati huyu mtu ambaye ameona na amemona kitu kingine anapokea ni unyenyekevu because sasa umejua si bidi yangu si vile mimi niko na mambo inaenda mzuri but i need god hiyo kitu inaleta unyenyekevu sababu you know i can't do it alone huwezi patikana you can't be proud sababu utaliga na nini na nikusaidiwa unasaidiwa na bwana bwana asifiwe you become mika because you have seen the gap that you require god Watu wabao wako mika, hawaonagi na fasi ya mungu kwa maisha yao. They think, the proud people, ni wala watu wanafikiria, I can make it without God. You can't be proud and mika at the same time. Mbwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo, ina unyenye kevu, inaletakwa wakati mutu wa melewa, how poor you are spiritually, how you need God. Na ukiona ina makoza umefanyia mungu, na umeitubu, unanyenye kea. Na bibiria diyo hapo inasema, blessed are the meek. Mbwana sifiwe. They shall inherit the earth. Wakati mutu wa meona yu nafasi, na amenyenyekea amerudi chini na huyo mtu ni mnyenyekefu na ameona the, the need of god in his life then mtu anaweza kumiliki dunia bwana asifiwe because sasa hata ukipewa dunia yote you still know i need god you will not be proud bwana asifiwe because you know i need god na mimi nawaobea bwana katika jina la yesu si tufike hii point ya meekness ya kuwa hata mungu wa kitu wa minia na utajiri wa dunia hii we shall still be mika katika jina la yesu hatu taona wegine kama wajuu kutegeneza mari proudness will not be found in our lives when we are mika we start to inherit the earth bwana sifiwe hallelujah wagapi wagetaka kuwenjoy mema hapa duniani bwana sifiwe then we must Pass that process. Ya kuwa tumeona, we are poor spiritually. And we need God. Na hiyo kuona, imetuleta pointa, ya kuerewa, ya kuwa we have messed before God. Tumeigia lefo ya mourning, because of what we have done against God. Na sababu tumeigia mungu wa metusamehe. Na sababu mungu wa metusamehe, tumeigia mahali pa kunye nyekea. The hubble, we are so hubble because tumeerewa without God, we cannot become. Kile mungu wa nataka, buwana sifiwe. Na wakati tumefika hiyo lefo ya hubbleness. Biblia inasema, mungu ata wakataa walio na marigo. 
na atainua dhahabu wakati unainuliwa unainuliwa na makampuni unainuliwa na jia zingine Mungu anaanza kukuaminia mambo ya dunia sababu anajua hutatumia hiyo authority kuharibu watu Bwana asifiwe hutatumia hiyo authority kugadamisha watu you are mika and when you are mika you qualify now to start to inherit the earth in Jesus name hallelujah blessed are they which hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be fulfilled wakati mtu ameona hiyo gap unajua kuna ile jai inakuwa created that you won't need to please god bwana asifiwe si bwana atufikishe hiyo refo ya kuwa ile jaa tu tuko nayo ni ya kumfurahisha bwana ni ya jia za wokofu na biblia inasema wakati umeingia hapo yakina ukuwa na hunger and thirst for righteousness you shall be satisfied bwana asifiwe haleluya Ushawe kushida kwa nyumba na kuna chakula na haukuli. Ni kwa nini? Sababu haukuwa na jaa. Na sisi Mungu ametuwekea kila kitu. Biblia inasema ya kuwa we have been given everything that pertains to this life and the future. Lakini sababu ya kukosa jaa. Sasa hata chakula ikiwekwa hapo hawezi kula. Biblia inasema Mtu ambaye ameshiba hukinai hata asali. Yaani mtu amesiba asali iko hapo hata haoni kama ni kitu. Bwana asifiwe. Si Bwana atusaidie. A create jar ya righteousness ndani yetu na kiu ya righteousness ndani yetu because there is a promise uh, when you are hungry and thirst for god uh, you shall be satisfied bwana asifiwe hiyo ni jaa mungu ameahidi atashibisha katika jina la yesu unajua wakati umeona the need of god na wakati umefika hiyo level Unasikia tu hata Mungu akinipatia mali kuna gap I still need God. Mali haiwezi kukusatisfy. Bwana asifiwe. Ukiona tu pesa tunaingia una reduce masaa ya maobi. Hiyo sio ja. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini unapata mtu the more Mungu anambariki the more he gets time for God. Bado anasema hiyo mali nimepata haijanisatisfy bana siwe hiyo job position nimepata haijani satisfy i still need god i need god more than when i was promoted i need god more than when i had this business i need god more than when i had my house bana siwe unajua kuna watu wamekaribia mungu sana sababu ya kulipa rent sasa akipata nyumba yake maobi inapugua wacha nikwambia mpendwa Apana that's not the formula of the blessed people. Bwana asifiwe. Blessed people ni wale wanasema sasa silipi rent lakini namhitaji Mungu sana kuliko wakati nilikuwa nalipa rent. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, wakati mtu alikuwa hana kazi lakini akipata kazi anasema I need God more than when I, do, I didn't have all this. Bwana asifiwe. Nilikuwa naambia mtu hivi wakati mtu hana kitu hakuna mtaa huwa anaogopa anaweza ingia kila mtaa bana sifiwe lakini Mungu akikubariki saa hii akupatie V8 na unakaa mtaa mzuri utakuwa naabiwa na kaaga gedhurai mahali fulani anakuambia na huko mahali ni safe sababu uko na kitu ya kunyaganywa bana sifiwe haleluya Mtu wabaya ako na kitu mimi naonaga kwa mahesabu yangu anamhitaji Mungu sana kuliko yule hana Bwana asifiwe Sababu sasa hata wakoa wakikuja kwako wanajua kuna pesa So you can be attacked more Hata hapa duniani kitu very practical tukiwa na, ma, na muwebe ambao hauna matunda unarushagiwa mawe Bwana asifiwe lakini wakati umeanza kuzaa matunda 
Vijana wote wanarusha mawe hapo. The same in the spiritual realm and the same in our lives. Kuna wakati mtu anajuaga hasa hii nikishika bogoa hana kitu. Lakini kuna vile Mungu anaweza kubariki wajuage tukishika bogoa tuwezi kosa 50,000. Huyo ile anatembeaka nayo kwa mfuko ni 50. So when I didn't have I was secure. But when I have now I need God more for protection. Bwana sifiwe na kuobea Mungu katika jina la Yesu ya kuwa jaa na kiu yake ndani ya moyo wako haitaodolewa katika jina la Yesu wakati anatubariki hiyo jaa inaogezeka wakati anatuinua hiyo jaa inaogezeka katika jina la Yesu kuna kawibo ilikuwa naibwa na kikuyu kwetu ya mtu alikuwa anasema wakati hakuwa na kitu alimuita Bwana alimulilia Bwana lakini wakati Bwana alikuja akambariki alikuwa anasema sasa ni kama hiyo wimbo inaibwa sasa wakati rapture ime happen anasema sasa nimeachwa ndio mimi nimeachwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anamlilia Mungu Mungu akakuja akamuinua sasa anasema sababu ya hii mali nimeachwa mpendwa Wacha nikwambie this life is short bwana asifiwe kuna mahali huwa tunaenda we need god hata tupate mali god still anataka kuona hiyo kiu ya kumtafuta bwana asifiwe na mungu aliwani wana wa israeli akawaambia wakati mumeenda mumepata mashaba hamukupanda wakati mumepata majumba hamukujenga msinisahau bwana asifiwe That is to mean uh, the will of God uh, si tukae maskini lakini the will of God uh, ni wakati anatubariki jaa yake ndani yetu iendelee kuongezeka Bwana asifiwe kuna watu walipata mali hata waka divorce mama akaona mimi naweza sasa vile niko na biashara zangu naweza simama Bwana asifiwe lakini the will of God ni akibariki akapo iendelee kupendana sana na waendelee kuwa na need of God Bwana asifiwe tusikuwe tunapasuu Mungu sababu ya mashida ikiisha tunasema no we don't need God now Bwana asifiwe ah uh, verse 7 verse 7 inasema blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy bwana asifiwe wakati wanataka kuhurumiwa na Mungu hapa lazima uhurumie watu yani the kingdom of god is about sowing and reaping and harvesting bwana asifiwe sowing and reaping is all about the kingdom of god hii ufalme lazima unapada unafuna Sita Yesu alifundisha maombi akasema forgive us our sins as we forgive our debtors Bwana asifiwe there is no way unaweza kibia kutafuta masi na we mwenyewe huonyeshi masi Bwana asifiwe lakini ukianza mahali nilikuonyesha how you need god sioni kwa nini usionyeshe watu masi Bwana asifiwe ukishajua wewe mwenyewe is a product of mercy then you start to reproduce mercy to other people and the more you reproduce mercy to other people the more you have the mercy katika jina la Yesu those that shall show mercy they shall obtain mercy kwa hivyo mercy is obtained mwana asifiwe hallelujah Bwana asifiwe. Kuna parabo moja Yesu alipeana. Ya jamaa alikuwa na deni. Na huyo jamaa alikuwa na deni. Akabegi aka mfalme, akamwambia somi masi. Nisamehe. Nipatie mota hii. Biblia inasema aliposamehewa, kutoka pale ije akapata mwingine alikuwa na deni. Biblia inasema alirukia ko akamwambia ni lazima unilipe saa hii utanilipa saa hii yani kule amepata 
Bwana asifiwe. Do you know everything that God gives you anagoje ulproduce? Hallelujah. Mungu akikulisha anagoje ukalishe mwingine. Mungu akikufalisha anagoje ukafalishe mwingine. Na ndio Biblia inasema nilikuja kwenu nikiwa uchi mkanifalisha. Lakini nani alianza kufalishana si ni Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Everything you get Mungu anagojea na wewe upeane. Sasa huyu jamaa alionyeshwa wa masi akakimbilia koo ya mwingine anataka kumuua. Wale walipoona alipewa masi wakamstaki. Wakasema yule jamaa umesamea saa hii. Yule jamaa umehurumia saa hii. Ni mtu anaua pade hii. Akasema aletwe hapa. Bwana asifiwe. If you want to continue enjoying kuna hii stima tuliletewa ya token. Ukitaka mwagaza unafanyaka aje si unaiongezaka pesa. Na Biblia inasema what we see on earth is a shadow of things in heaven. Bwana asifiwe. Kama hutaki mase iondoke kwa jia yako. Mase sio wakati tu namlilia Mungu ya kuwa Bwana have mercy on me. Ni vizuri kulia hivyo. Lakini Mungu anagatarajia nikisha kuonyesha mercy are you showing mercy? to continue obtaining mercy lazima na wewe uonyeshe watu huruma unakumbuka watu wagapi ulihurumia kwa maisha yako <laughs> bwana asifiwe si mungu atupatie hiyo begu ya kupanda ambayo inaitwa mercy so that in our lives uh, we shall never lack mercy in the name of jesus hallelujah those who show mercy they shall obtain mercy katika jina la yesu Haleluya. Hiyo verse ingine inasema, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Pure in heart. Unajua hii hii ni sermon mtu anaweza kuhubiri mwaka mzima ya pure in heart. Pure in heart means mtu anafanya kitu kwa roho safi. Unajua naweza kuwa pasta hapa na nikuwe sihubiri na pure heart. Bwana asifiwe. Naweza kuwa nimekaa hapa nasema hii si kanisa ijaye haraka Bwana. Waanze kutoa sadaka ni jege makorofa. Bwana asifiwe. Si kanisa ijaye haraka. Yaani hii moyo wangu si safi ya kutumikia Bwana. Ni kitu natarajia ya kunisaidia mimi. Bwana asifiwe. There are so many people kuna mtu anayedaga kanisa aonekane na pasta. Is that a pure heart? Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. So, Biblia inasema those that will see God ni wale wako na pure heart. In another word ni wale wanafanya kitu tu sababu ya Mungu. Wa please Mungu. That is a pure heart. Hawataki kujua wengine watafikiria namna gani as long as it shall please God. Hiyo ndio na pasu. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. So ni kumaanisha kuna watu wanafanya mambo mingi lakini is not out of pure heart. Si hata Biblia inasema hata nikiogea na dimi ninone na lugha zote nijipeane mwili wangu niteketezwe kama sina upendo ni bure kabisa. Meaning angalia hiyo sacrifice. Mtu anapeana mwili wake uteketezwe lakini hana upendo. Sasa ni nini nimemfanya ajipeane? Si nikutengeneza jina. Bwana asifiwe. There are so many things that people do so that they can be priest by men. Now how watu wote hawatamuona Mungu. Imagine mtu ameenda kesha dioonekanage na keshaga hatamuona Mungu. Mtu ame fast dioonekanae huwa na fast. That's not a pure heart. Hatamuona Mungu. Pekine kama hivi tuko na mjego, mtu amekuja ametuadikia check. Hata tunasema brother Christopher ni kama yeye alitoa 80% ya kile tunafanya hapa. That's not a pure heart, Bwana asifiwe. Anasema mimi nataka kuatisha hii kitu yote naweza jeka peke yake. Na ndio Biblia inasema moyo wa mwanadamu hufunguka mbele za Bwana kama kitabu. Bwana asifiwe. What you do? What causes you to do what you do? Unaweza kuwa hapa kwa praise team 
but you don't have a pure heart. Na ni vibaya tuogozo na praise team abayo haina pure heart. Sababu sasa, mungu hata kuja. Because the Bible says, those that have a pure heart, they will see God. Tukiogozo na watu wako na pure heart, hapa, mungu anashuka, mungu anatebea. Lakini sasa, kuna watu wanaigia praise team, diyo watu wana hata mimi na ibaga. Wana sifiwe. Watu wanafanya because of many reasons. Watu wanafanya mabo kwa nyuba ya buwana. Na diyo hawamuoni mungu. Ikifika mahali wanazema mungu ni kama haukuwagi pa moja na mimi. Yes, he knows. Everything you are doing, you are not doing for him. Si mungu watu hurumie. Buwana sifiwe. Tufanya kila kitu kwa roho safi. Tufanya kila kitu kwa kumpasu buwana. Because that is the only way we shall see him. Nani hataki kuona mungu hapa? Nini hataki kuona mungu? Kwa hivyo sitaki kuhubiri kwa jia igine. Neza kuwa na hubiri hapa ni kitarajia ati one day ya ubi ya sereb. Takuwa na ogea kenya mzima inajua kuna pasta wa githurai ya meogea. Tafadhali, pursue the right things. Na diyo bibiri inasema, whatever is good, whatever is of good virtue, think of those things. The good things, bwana sifiwe. Lakini watu sahi, kuna watu ni musicians. But they are not singing to please God. They are after another thing. Si mugu watusamehe katika jina la Yesu. Let us pursue the right thing. Why do we do what we do? Is it from a pure heart? Or there is something else we are expecting? Ya kutufaidi sisi wenyewe. Wana sefewe. Yesu walipiana parabos kumoja. Akasema wakati umevanya kira kitu unafaya kufanywa. Unafaya kusimama useme. I'm just unworthy servant because I've only done what I was supposed to do. Bwana sifiwe. May God give us a clean heart. Dio tuweze kumuona. Bwana sifiwe. If you do everything in your life because you want to please God na kuahikikishia kwa jina la Yesu hili neno la mungu litatimia if you have a pure heart you'll see God. Sia titutamuona wakati tutafanyo alamcha tuede huko. Apana. If you have a clean heart, you'll be seeing God. In your daily life, you'll see God. Unajua naeza kuwagea mpaka na dimi. Na huwagea isababu ya leading ya lo Holy Spirit. Unataka kuwanyesha watu wote ni mejazwa. Yani naogea na dimi hapa. See not after God. You see, unaeza hurumia watu wegi. Because you... If God can show you why people are doing what they are doing, uneza shaka. Mutu wa meopa na dimi hapa lakini, si anataka ati, iyo edification of the Holy Spirit. Apana, hata kwenyesha watu, na mimi na wakiaka na ruga zikine. Mimi si mchache. May God give us a pure heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why do we do what we do in Jesus name? Bwana sifiwe. Biblia inasema verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Bwana sifiwe. Yaani wana wa Mungu mahali wako kuna amani. Bwana sifiwe. Mimi huwa nashagaa umeenda pengine unasikia familia inapigana sababu ya mtu wao kwa Nairobi, yanachoma huko na nilida kanisani. Sao mungu wa membaliki Na pegini anasimamia mambo huko nyubani Sasa badala habebe amani Yee diya huwa nachoma huko Bwana sifiwe Na hii pia Blessed are the peacemakers Unajua pia Tunajua mungu hana amani na waofu Ukisha ajua mungu hana amani na waofu What do you become? You become an evangelist You start to share Christ Because you are a peacemaker Ukitaka kubalikiwa, lazima uigie mahali, Biblia inasema, and we have been given a ministry of reconciliation. Yani kila mahali all loud, physically and spiritually, you are creating peace. Mwana sifiwe. You are making peace between men and God. Blessed are the peacemakers. Mwana sifiwe. Ni vizuri wewe ukue, hata kwa jamii yenu niwe unazimaga moto sio kuhakisha bwana sifiwe unajua kuna file mungu anatuorganize 
unapata kwa familia yenu wewe ukiogea watu wanasikia sasa kuna watu wanatumia hiyo position vibaya anajua hii ndio nitachomea wengine moto inawaka na imewakishwa na mtu wako na dimi kumekosa nyumba ako huku Nairobi lakini kesi hakuna amani na ni yeye tu na ni leader wetu hapa kanisani Blessed are the peacemakers. Bwana sifiwe. Si Mungu atusaidie. Tuwe sisi tuna sabasa amani. Tukisikia mahali moto umewaka wa watu kukosa amani na kukosa pisa. Tukiingia mahali hapo im, amani inapatikana. Because we are the carriers of peace. The king of peace is inside us in the name of Jesus. Hiyo verse ingine inasema verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of God Kuna wengine wakishajua hii ukweli yote tumenena siku ya leo they are ready to suffer for Christ Bwana asifiwe Biblia inasema kubarikiwa ni hao Unajua huwezi simama na ukweli na ukose persecution Unanisika vizuri Huwezi simama na ukweli na ukose persecution. Tupatie a good example. Mama Caleb tuseme uko kwa proti yenu. Na umeona ni nani ameiba pegi sa mama mwingine. Alafu wabie huyo mama, surudishie tu huyu pegi zake. Simekuona ukichukua. Kutakuwa na amani hapo. Lakini si ni ukweli umesema. Bwana asifiwe. Every time you are studying with the truth The reward you get from men is persecution. From God you get grace. From men you get persecution. Bwana asifiwe. Na ndio watu wengi huwa wananyamazaga sababu hawataki persecution. Mtu akikuletea mambo ya watu umwambie, umu si Biblia inasema rebuke each other with wrath. How many rebukes have you received in the church? Bwana asifiwe. Hakuna sababu watu wataki persecution mtu akikuja kuambia mambo ya hana umwambie my brother or my sister that which you are doing is wrong wakati wanapata wana ribiku kama hiyo hakuna because every truth kwa men reward ni persecution lakini to, the, to god is ndio biblia inasema They inherit the kingdom of God. You are persecuted by men, but you fit in the kingdom. Why? Because uh, you speak for the truth. Bwana asifiwe. Si Mungu atuinulie hiyo jeshi ambayo haiogopi, ambayo itanena ukweli, hata kama gharama kunayo. Angalia kina John, wanaabua msihubiri kwa jina la Yesu. Wanaambia hao watu wanawaambia, "Church for yourself." Is it right for me? Kunyamaza kwa mambo ambayo ninajua. Lakini sasa moto unaendelea kuisha kwa nyumba ya Bwana because people fear persecution. They quote the Bible wrongly. Unajua kuna verse kwa Biblia inasema mind your own business. Sasa mahali mtu anahitajika kuogea ukweli, anasema Biblia inasema I mind my own business. Lakini hiyo Biblia inasema mind your own business imesema pia rebuke each other with love kwa nini mama Caleb apotee nikiona bwana asifiwe siku hizi hata church una collect mtu anahama bwana asifiwe lakini kwangu nasema that is a reward from men men will always persecute you na persecution si lazima mtu tu akupige mtu anaweza kukuondokea ulimwambia this this is wrong my brother anasema na hiyo hiyo kanisa yenu hamtaniona tena hiyo ni reward bwana asifiwe is part of the persecution bwana asifiwe pekine nitumie my brother nimemwambia my brother umekosea mahali amesema na hiyo keyboard yenu mtajipigia hiyo ni persecution bwana asifiwe na biblia inasema blessed are you when you are persecuted persecuted because of righteousness lakini wagapi? Hii watu wengi hawana kanisani. Hawataki hii baraka. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini mimi nainyakua nyakati hizi za mwisho. Kama ni kanisa kama hii, nitahubiri ukweli hata kama nitaachwa na mtu mmoja kama hiyo ndio jia 
persecution I will still preach uh, Because there is a blessing For those uh, that are persecuted Because of Christ Bwana sifiwe Kwanza hii imeogezwa sana Imesema Hii imeogezewa Inasema Verse 11 Blessed are you When men reveal You And persecute you and they say all oh, manner of if of forcery for my sake. I persecution in Aedereaga. Baka watu wanaanza kuogea uogo. Mana sifiwe. Watu wana kuchukia. Wanaogea uogo. Wanaogea mabo uerewi. Mana <laughs> sifiwe. Wakati watoto wetu walipas kuna watu walisema tumewatawa sadaka. Natuliku watu na shiriki na wao. Mana sifiwe. Hallelujah. So kuna mambo watu huwa wanaogea. Lazima ujue iko na baraka. Mungu hawezi kubali uumizwe na maneno na isikuwe hakuna reward. Bwana asifiwe. Blessed are you when people speak a lie. Unajua watu wanakibiaga kanisa na sema pastor ni obe. Bila watu wanaogea kunihusu. Tafadhali hiyo ni kuambia pastor. Pastor tafadhali tuombe ile baraka Mungu alikuwa ameweka aondoe. Bwana asifiwe. Nilikuwa nasikiliza mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Bishop Mwando. Alikuwa anapeana testimony ya kitabu alikuwa amesoma. Inaitwa Persecuted for Christ. Bwana asifiwe. Anasema watu walikuwa natolewa guo, wanawekwa kwa barafu kali. Alafu wanaenda wakipigwa na askari, wanatoka damu, wakifika kule mwisho, wanaabua deny Christ. Wakifika kule mwisho, mtu atakufa. So askari mmoja wa kupigana alifunguliwa macho na Mungu akaona huyu anapiga ile riwadi atapata so alikuwa anampiga na anamwambia don't give up there is a reward sababu ameona huyu ambaye alikuwa anapigwa aka give up aka deny Christ huyu askari akamwambia chukua guo zangu za askari kuja unipige mimi sababu anapata reward tafadhali sometimes don't give up bwana asifiwe wacha waogee Watu wanaogea, wanasema we ni mchawi. He, sijui nini. Ushe kuogereswa na watu unashidwa. Paka unaeda kujiobea. Naweza mugu, ama mimi mwenyewe. Sijiere wagi vizuri. Mimi nimepitia hiyo. Tukua na my wife. Watu wanaogea. Mkua bedi muna njuliza. Ama hatuju wagi. <laughs> Mbana sipewe. Kuna mze mgini aliyabua sisi huwa tunaabudu shetani. Na nia metukaudisha nyuba. So alikuwa nakuja saa saba ati anasimama kwa geti yetu waone tukieda kwa budu. Akafuatiria miezi migi sana haoni. Anauliza na nye mnaedaga kwa budu sana amu saa gapi. Kwa budu shetani saa gapi. Tunamuliza kwa nini. Anasema sababu nakujaga hapo kwenu saa saba na gojea na hamutoki. Wedi nasikiaga ukieda kazi. <laughs> Bada spirit. Unapewa story. Mpaka wewe unakaa unasema ama na abudugi satani. Bwana sifiwe. Usijihurumie mpedwa. Biblia inasema kuna baraka tumewekewa. When people speak all evil against you. As long as we unajua si hivyo. Pasu there is a blessing. There is a blessing in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. There is a blessing in the name of Jesus. Pasio yigine inasema rejoice and be exceedingly Yaani sisi hii tunaifanyaga mtu akiogea kuhusu wewe si unasikiaga mpaka hapa taiti imepotea kwa vile wameogea vibaya lakini biblia ijafundisha hivyo we have been doing it wrongly biblia inasema rejoice and be exceedingly grateful Bwana <laughs> asifiwe yani mpaka ipite exceedingly grateful because they have spoken against you because Wale wote wali, wale wote walitutagulia. Bibili inasema walipitishwa hiyo. So ukiona wewe unapitishiwa ingine, pengine huedi mahali walieda. Bwana asifiwe. Si Bibili inatuambia akina Ibrahim wako huko mpaka kuna watu wanaweka wakifua ya Ibrahim. Wakati walipelekwa transfiguration, si waliona Elijah. So na Elijah unajua vile alipelekwa na na, na na nini? Na Jezebel. 
So kama walipita hiyo na wewe hupiti hiyo, jiulize unaenda wapi? Bwana asifiwe. Inasema rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets that were before you. Yaani unaabua wale unajua wako kule tayari walipita hiyo. So kama hupiti ni vizuri kujiuliza unaenda wapi. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Pengine huelewagi kwa nini watu wanaogea kinyume na wewe. Unajaribu kuwafanya vizuri. But what they they turn back? Si hivyo. Ni kukuonyesha wanakuonyesha you are in the right way. Bwana asifiwe. GB I'm in the right way. Katika jina la Yesu. Kwa hivyo hii neno la Mungu aliachagi rumu ya kujihurumia hapana. When they are persecuting you like that, they are a reward. They are a blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nikianza kuhubiri niuliza nani wanataka kubarikiwa. Sasa sababu nimemaliza nani anataka kubarikiwa? Kwani mikono haikuna? Bwana asifiwe. Eh hiyo ndio jia ya baraka. Hiyo ni tuliuza tukianza watu wote wakainua mikono. Sasa hii mtu yote anauliza nataka kubarikiwa kweli. Bwana asifiwe. That is the way of pressing in the name of Jesus. Tusimame mbele za Bwana tumwambie Bwana atupatie uwezo. Chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5 katika jina la Yesu